Now, Ali Baba's make I greet you now, so. Carry go. Lagos is considered the concrete jungle with a population of over 20 million people. There's an array of ways for citizens in the city to move from one point to another. Either you're in traffic in the early hours of the day or you're at a jetty to take a boat ride to your destination. The advantages of uh, using the waterways, one, it saves time and also it improves uh, employees' efficiency at work and as well is faster than using the normal road transportation network. We have destinations, we have routes from Bariga here where the boat bet. We have, have Falomo, that's five carries. We have Law School, we have Sanfit. All these destinations take, let's say, 20 minutes from here, from the jetty to, to five carries, 20 minutes at max. So you could do should be just 30 minutes. It could be 30 minutes. The challenges we have in is uh well, I'll say lack of more boots. Because I'm I believe as much as possible, if we have more boots here, commuters will troop in, in their numbers. The way government could come in is uh uh the introduction of more boots, one, and as well bringing in policies that would help aid the transportation network, I mean the waterways network. When there are more policies on ground, that will fast track the movement. And also, government also needs to help in um, sensitizing the public, like the, the, the usefulness of waterways transportation. You know, most people are like, they are waterphobic, like, oh, I, don't, I can't go on water. But with government introducing to them that, okay, these are the things you benefit from using the waterways, these are the safety measures, and they can see them. Well, the safety measures on the waterways, the most important thing is the life vest where you see every commuter, each commuter is entitled to one live vest to be fastened to themselves. And also, there is a live boy on the boat. Or at least each boat is supposed to have, say, four to five live boys. So the live boy is just like a plastic, um, plastic object at which four pa passengers can hold on to it when there is havoc on the water and they won't sink. Yeah, it's easy because I believe each boat has its capacity and it's very convenient. Now, this our boat here has um, 21 capacity. And as you can see, it's just convenient for them. No one is complaining about that. For passengers who make use of the ferry services, it's a lot faster and cost effective than sitting in crazy Lagos traffic. I've been using the water transportation for about six months. Um, the water transportation is faster and very convenient. I don't have to be in traffic for two, three hours. In 20 minutes, I'm at my destination. I enjoy the, the tra water transport, especially these new boats. They give us comfortably, and the captain, he did well. Um, the government really needs to improve because most of the boats that we ply, they are owned by private owners. So I think the government needs to invest more on the tr water transportation. Um, challenge is probably some locations that the boats don't get to. So that's the major reason why the government has to come in and then expand the water transportation. It is very easy, safe times and confident. In the area of safety of the end user, one of the captains of the boat stressed the need for effective policies to govern the waterways. Uh, we have different type of boats on water and then very fast said, you know, we have some 200 horsepower, we have 300 horsepower engine, we have 75 engine, and then, you know, very safely. And then this uh, lab, ja lab jacket, you know, in case anything happens in water, and we will not pray there anything to happen, but this thing is, uh, you know, lab boy, you save people in water. So that's the reason why we always picked up this lab jacket. See, the challenge I face in, uh, in water is uh, because of bricks, and a wave, you know, when the wave too much, we slow down for it, and they will take coffee, we enter the wave. So you balance the boat. You get one balance the engine, so from there the boat will pick very well. This is accelerator gear. This is the steering, and then we have radio, everything, we have lap wire, we have two inside the boat. Uh, we have a fire booster. We have all this inside the boat too. So, you know, because of safety, 
case anything happens, water or fire, from there, we bring this one out and quench the fire. So in case maybe anything happens, water, we bring this slab boy. I will save people life. About four people or five people can hold it at the same point. I do not will happen to them. So that's the reason why we are keeping all this one inside the boat. Yeah, what we need for government now, we don't need to you know uh, this water will have a lot of dirty in water. Like uh, you know, lalon bag, sack, all those things, you know, uh, like uh, all those uh beds are them, all those people always throw stick. Timber stick inside water, all this cause us dent in water, so they have to stop them for us. So that's the thing what we need for government. Lagos looks a lot different from the waterways, and we can only encourage Lagosians to ease their stress and long drives by simply using the ferry service. To enjoy more of this, our Ubonga videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.